Hello everyone, FunchinX here. Welcome back to Crash Landing. It has been a while. Let me tell you about the crazy week we had uh, and why there's been such a delay in my videos. Uh, first off, we did the Landstrider prank and I had all that footage. It was ready to go and I compiled it and did some cool time lapses of me building everything. And I hit upload to YouTube and about three hours later I get a message back failed to upload. I'm like, oh man, that sucks. So I'm like, well, it's probably just an internet issue or something. So I uploaded again and it again failed. So I went back to the editor studio, which I use as Camtasia, and I just uh, reprocessed the file and tried to upload again. It failed again. <laughs> so I went back to it and I took out all the time lapses and everything, just the straight video files and tried to upload them. They failed. And I was like, oh, I'm getting so frustrated. And, uh, Finally, um, I went on Camtasia's forums, and it turned out that Google, or YouTube, uh, put in a new API for uploading, and Camtasia, the version I had, was not compatible, and they luckily had a fix for it. So I updated Camtasia, and I was able to get that video on YouTube, um, but unfortunately, I had already edited out all the time lapses, and I didn't want to put them back in because it would take me a lot longer. So you got what you got. <laughs> I hope you guys like the prank on Landstrider. It was a lot of fun to do. Uh, he seemed to really enjoy it. Go look at his reaction video. It was linked in the description of the previous video that I put out. And um, anyway, so that happened. Then I got super busy with work, so I couldn't film. Then what happened after that? Something else happened. Oh, um, Camtasia, I went to record... Uh, another episode with the one I'm about to do now and it turns out that when I updated Camtasia it got this completely new file format that it likes to record in that was totally impossible to edit <laughs> so I had to go re redo it luckily that was just a test file that I was doing but I go back into Camtasia edit all my settings reset up everything with the formats I like and oh man it's just been a crazy week and I really apologize we've only had like one video in a whole week um, so what I'm going to try to do is put out a video every day if I can next week. Um, so hopefully everything goes well and we'll get out lots of videos and lots of content and you guys can see some of the later on quests in Crash Landing. That's what we're going to do today is quests. I've been away from this quest book. It hasn't been really opened in a long time. Uh, but just again, at the very beginning, let's go ahead and introduce this map pack. This is Crash Landing. It's on the Feed Beast launcher. Uh, it's created by Iskandar and we are actually in 1.1.2.1 which is awesome. We've upgraded. It has a f couple fixes to some exploits, um, a couple fixes to some recipes. We've got the new configurations for Ender.io that Landstrider's created. Um, I'm not using Ender.io because it's not in the pack, so I'm, I, most of you won't have it either, and so I want to make sure that we're using the same things. So anyway, that's all the changes we've gone to. Um, anyway, you'll see... Oh, I, I swear I told it to be in Fahrenheit. Oh, oh, never mind. I guess that has to be service side. Ignore that. But anyway, let's do this quest. I want to focus on technological revolution because this has a lot of things that I'm going to need uh, coming up. So let's start simple and we get more complex. The simple is this uh, sledgehammer and a tin upgrade. Um, the sledgehammer is so, so easy. Let's go ahead and make it. It's a bunch of plastic, three plastic, two wood, get you a sledgehammer. Now, if you hold this in your hand, you can see um, any machine that's in thermal expansion that affects an area, it will show you what it affects. So let's go down to something like the grinder and we'll see, uh, wow, look, it's all purple inside. Uh, so it's normal, it's purple, normal purple. Basically that means that this grinder here is able to kill mobs anywhere in that zone. And so here I can prove before um, that it does in fact do a five by five by three area. Um, starting above it. Actually, does it go one below? I can't remember. Probably can't tell because I got blocks there. But it's definitely a 5x5 five five in its width and length. Cool. So that's awesome. It'll work the same with our tree farm. We can go over there and look at it. And you can see that I'm just using the default size tree farm, which is a 3x3. Three three. That's what it's affecting. It can cut down trees in that area. Pretty cool. So that's the sledgehammer. The other thing it wanted us to build was a tin upgrade. And so let's go ahead and get that going. It's also fairly, fairly, fairly simple to do. Um, yeah, that was it. <laughs> I got all the ingredients. Nugget, redstone, some plastic. You can use raw plastic or you can use um, pneumatic craft plastic sheets and some tin. And there's that. We completed a quest. Oh, it's been so long since we've heard this reward. Uh, this gets us another PRX, which is cool because those are PRC, sorry, because those take a, while, a little while to make some invar and some rubber. 
Yay, quest reward done. So that unlocks two more quests. Now here's the one for green glowing things. A harvester, a planter, and a fruit picker. And it wants us to craft them. Well, I've already crafted a harvester. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Um, but I definitely want to do a, a planter so I can auto plant those um, jungle saplings. And a fruit picker, I guess, would be nice if it could pick the fruit off my tree. I don't know if it can, but that would... Oh, where did my trees go? My trees are gone. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Where are my trees? Um, okay. <laughs> my apple tree is still here, but my all, all the other trees are gone. Did I cut this down? I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't remember. Wow. It's been a long time. Maybe I cut them down without re remembering. Okay. So, uh, but that's not the one I want to do right now. I actually want to go back up and, um, this one is, uh, Enchanter, Anvil, Spawner. Oh yeah, we're using the one that uh, Landstrider gave us, so we'll have to actually create another one. That's fine. And this is the one I want to get to right now. It's just a redstone furnace. Very, very easy to make. I'm going to need some bricks, which I just cooked up. There we go. And I'm going to take these bricks and make two actual brick, bricks, blocks. <laughs> and let's make that a uh, furnace. So we're going to need a machine frame. We already have the expansion card that was in my inventory. We also got one in a quest reward, so we have two right now. Uh, we won't be able to shift click it, so let's just do this. And uh, where's the rest of my environment? There it is. I want to make two of them right now because I know that I'm going to need them for later on. So might as well make two. Okay, and then one. Two. two machine frames. Let's make one of them into a redstone furnace. Now we no longer have to use those furnaces over there. We can use our energy to cook stuff. Um, I'm just going to stick it here. <laughs> I need to redo this whole area, thermal expansion area, um, so I can automate it with Factor Manager. But I'm, I'm not sure. I might do that in the basement or make another floor. I don't know. Anyway, so that's getting f uh, uh, power there. I don't think I need to cook anything right now, so let's just leave that as is. Is it hot over here? Yeah, it's pretty hot. Let's stay away from there while we craft. Is this a better temperature? Yeah, it's a good temperature. Is it daytime? Yeah. Yeah. In the yellow, a daytime is pretty decent. Okay, well, let's see what that quest uh, gave us, because we've already finished the others. We've done the pulverizer, the infuser, and the packager already. already. So we get the battle wrench, we get an item duct, impulse item ducts, which just are item ducts that go faster. And uh, these are opaques, so we can't see the items in, which means less lag. And two servos. Cool. Nothing really amazing. Uh, the battle wrenches can replace our crescent hammer. You can see that you actually can upgrade that one directly. So all that saved us really was a little bit of invar and one iron. But now we can use that to uh, move items and stuff and rotate them and all that kind of crap. And uh, I guess I'll just get rid of that one. I could put it in here. In my tools area. Sledgehammer can go in there too. Those can go in there. That's pretty good. All right, next, what do we have? Uh, quest rewards. We've unlocked this one, which is advanced machines. Induction smelter, magma crucible, and glacial precipitator. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Uh, but if we go back here to basic survival and look here, we need provide those which are very easy but I happen to know that this quest here takes the glacial precipitator as well so let's finish both at once let's go ahead and get this one done we need a flux capacitor and four water bottles and uh, I don't mind turning these four in because I know that I have plenty of bottles from making jelly sandwiches okay so we can manually submit those does it take all the bottles yeah it did so let me get some new bottles uh, how are we doing on water. I need like two right now. Okay. If at any times you wonder how I do my magic shift clicking and item moving and all that kind of stuff, um, I've shown it in quite a few videos, so just keep watching from the beginning of the series and you'll see all those magical tricks on how to do mouse wheel to move things up and down out of chests. 
<laughs> or uh, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I get quite a few questions on that. It's probably one of my most qu common questions is how do you move that from your inventory to there? How do you move all your items? Or how do you uh, move from here into a crafting area? That's W click. Anyway, uh, we need the capacitor. That was, that was what I was getting. All right, let's go grab it. Uh, here, while I'm in here, here's the uh, big reactor. I went and got the controller. If I didn't show that before, that is all ready to go. And everything else is done except we. I haven't put a roof on it because I need to put coolant and I need to create the. Um, oh, I don't remember what they're called. The. Uh, <laughs> you guys know me by now. I forget names of things. These guys here, the control rods, which take these. In crane insanely complex items and is actually what we're making this induction smelter for so uh, I should have a capacitor in here let's go ahead and use an old uh, empty one might as well right because I don't think it cares yep it doesn't care and we're gonna get two snow blocks eight iron not too interesting but I guess we're suppo supposed to have completed this quest a long time ago um, so we can put the iron in there and the snow blocks, now that I have snow, I guess I could have used it from, wait a minute. I had 20 stacks of snow, didn't I? Okay, I'm missing trees, I'm missing snow. I have a feeling someone's been to my base. Someone has been to my base. Uh... <laughs> And, I don't know, there's no signs, no nothing. Kind of the rules of pranking are leave a sign, so I'm not sure if they're going to hold my trees hostage. <laughs> At least they didn't take my uh, my walrus. He's still here. I don't want anybody to take my walrus. Uh, back to what I was saying, though. Um, I didn't want to use these snowballs that Landstrider gave me because I hadn't I didn't have the ability to create snow yet. Now that I ha I'm going to have the ability to create snow, I'll go ahead and make use of those snowballs to make some smoothies and that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, these snow blocks, you need to be careful because they're the only source of snow you get in the game. Uh, and you need to use them to create that glacial precipitator. So don't waste those snow blocks, <laughs> whatever you do. Uh, let's go ahead and craft one of those. So we're going to need the glacial precipitator. No, uh, that's not what it's called. Oh, just because I'm not... It's not the name of a mod. Glacial. And it's not a perpetuator, a prepitate... I can't remember. I've watched so many other videos of people doing this map that do not know how to spell or pronounce. Precipitator. It's like precipitate or precipitation. You know, water is precipitation, rain. Precipitator, a glacial precipitator. Say it three times, you'll know how to say it. <laughs> anyway, uh, it takes the machine frame, it takes a piston, coil, and copper. So I am missing stuff for a piston. And we'll get that going. Okay. And I need a coil, just one. Oh, this is all the redstone I have left. It's running low. I need to start up my sieve, uh, yeah, my sieve system again. All right, that is our glacial precipitator. And does that finish this quest reward? Yes, it does. That's going to give us a high golem and four cold water bottles. Okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what I'm going to do with that. That's for sure. Um, it's going to involve someone else on the server. But anyway, let's put the... What the heck? I did not have sheep selected. There's things wrong with my base, people. <laughs> my wool is missing. <sighs> my wool is missing. There was wool here. Um, I'm also missing eight leather, because why would that be separated? All right, guys, uh, maybe you guys know why I'm missing stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely missing stuff. Huh. I'll, all right, I'll figure that out later. Um, let's keep going. 
Glacial Precipitator, let's go ahead and put him in here. Uh, this one to run needs power and needs water. Going to make snowballs, snow, or ice blocks. Actually, let's not put it there because it's just going to waste my power. Uh, I don't want it actually here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> that hammer hurts, man. All right, we're just going to stick the precipitator in here for now because I'm not going to be using it. I don't want it to just draw power because uh, I'm going to put it somewhere else eventually. Um, okay, cool. That was that one. So that completed that quest. And that is almost... We're almost done, guys, with basic survival. We do need to go do this. Oh. Oh, that's pretty close. When Raccoon moved my base for the server, that's actually really close. Let's do that. So we need a glider. Oh, our glider was already out. And we need our jetpack on. And we got some cold water so we can drink if we need it. Um, all right, which direction is it? Let's let's add a waypoint. So it's negative eight three ninety four map waypoint new waypoint negative eight three ninety four and this is going to be called data log something like that <laughs> what's it called data tablet ah horrible data where is it data tablet there we go all right let's see if we can find it it's going to be Landstrider, Palindrome's over there. Data tablet, right over there on the way to Raccoon's base. Cool. Nice little beacon. What's flying over? It's getting late at night, so we gotta better do this quick, but I think we're alright. As far as I know, there's nothing here yet. This is a, this might serve as a purpose later on when uh, Iskandar adds more to this map as far as a finale, like an ending. But no, there's nothing here. So it was just a uh, go out in the in the desert and use a bunch of your water and waste your time <laughs> quest. Uh, found it. Oh, now we need to go 38 meters away to the shuttle. Uh, and that one is negative 14, 360. Nope, this way. Negative 14. Nope, this way. <laughs> and right. Here. Nope. A little further. And negative 14, 360. Perfect. All right. Dig a little bit. Whoa! There's a guy there. <laughs> Nothing there. Okay. Let's, uh... I can't get to my book or I will lose my flight ability <laughs> and I will fall to my death or at least into those all, all those mobs let's go sit on top of the uh, this thing all smoking all right uh, so we did found it shuttle visited done sweet log entry uh, this tells us this I think this is some backstory so I guess that's our reward for um, doing that quest as we get some of the backstory cool all right, well, what's left? We need to kill eight more Endermen, and we need to do a, a Ender Generator. What does that thing cost? Ender Generator. That's another PRC board, some eye vendors, some Ender Balls. Redstone and Furnace. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, that's more Redstone. Well, in between episodes, I'll just have more Redstone. That'll be fine. Uh, are we getting hot? There we go. <laughs> Fixed. Um, okay, so let's go in here and craft. We need some ender balls. We need some blaze powder. Can go down, please? Alright, ender balls. I think we need five. Yeah, someone's taken my ender pearls. Because I'd definitely add more than that. Uh, to make eye vendors, you just need blaze powder, right? It's a shapeless, yes, blaze powder. Should be in here. Oh, I have one. Oh, but I've got blaze rods. I should probably go grind it so I can get three. I believe it's three. 
Do you guys remember the old uh, equivalent exchange blaze rod factory? <laughs> Where you'd pulverize it, then put it together, and then pulverize it, and put it together, that kind of thing. Oh, you can't pulverize it? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you can pulverize it. What was wrong? That's what was wrong. Get some blaze powder. Oh, is it four? Sweet. Uh, what did I just get? I got some extra gravel. Go back in there. There you go. Okay, so we got the blaze powder. Let's make two of them into eyes. We need a furnace, which means we need cobble. I'm going to need another. I don't need any more machine frames, so I can put back you and you. Oh, and I've got this redstone here. I don't want to just pulverize this redstone. If you look at it, uh, smelting, we get one. Crap. Furnace, we get one. Pulverizer, we get six. Induction smelter, we get nine. So that's another reason I wanted the induction smelter, because I got plenty of sand. So I'm going to get nine redstone for every block of ore. You can also get uh, eight in a sag mill from Ender.io with a chance to get eight, a 20% chance to get an extra. And you also get some silicon. So that's another thing you can do if you're playing with Ender.io. But I want to wait for the... Uh, a smelter there so I can get the nine full full nine okay I was getting some cobble eight cobble perfect make that furnace and what else do we need in the PRC card that is redstone plastic and a circuit board I got tons of circuit boards I used all the rest of my seeds and plastic and everything to make those a um, ton of uh, transistors and uh, capacitors to make those. Okay, is that everything we need? I think it is, other than we can't shift-click it. Oh, I have like no redstone left. Okay, um, this guy and that guy. There's the under generator. So what the under generator does is it uh, puts out a crap ton of power. So let's put it right here. That's like a good place for it. And we'll say you can input from above. And let's go get one ender pearl and see what happens when we power that up with an ender pearl. Okay. Something's wrong with my grinder. It is not grinding. All those mobs are just sitting there. Someone be touching my stuff. All right, so this is 80 MJ per tick, 80 RF per tick. Wow, did I say MJ? 80 RF per tick times 20 minutes. That is a crazy amount of power for one Ender Pearl. This thing should just be chugging now. Look at it going. Whoosh! Wow, 20 RF. <laughs> All right, let me go fix. See if we can fix this thing before I get so many mobs that I can't handle it. Uh, are you full? Is that what the problem is? Yes, you are full. Is that because something is happening with sorting? Okay. Why is the sorting not working? I have no idea. What I've been doing with arrows and stuff is you take two of them, combine them into one, better one <laughs> take another one and uh, yeah just just in case I ever need a dispenser or something why is it not sorting these this is really weird oh ender pearls thank you ah oh, so much junk <laughs> what why are you not sorting let's find that out sort items Trigger every second input from the iron chest. Target down, blacklist. Output, uh, gunpowder, okay. Is it, yeah, that gunpowder's full. Output gunpowder to there. And then output to all the barrels. 
everything else. I don't know why that's not working. That should totally be working. Huh, it's been working for a long time. Look at all this junk. I really gotta clean this out. But that's if I oh we got some more redstone. I'll take that for sure. And I'll leave everything else. But that's why that's the problem with, with that was we we just had a backlog of items. Okay. So what's next on the list? What are we complete? Oops, I can claim the word now. Two hundred under pearls and some hardened energy conduit. And it looks like I'm done except for that one. Ninety-three percent, guys. Um, if you have a problem with this quest here as an important information quest, um, you can't complete that one. And the only reason I have it completed is because I am OCD and I hate it blinking in my face when it doesn't need to. So um, if you have uh, server rights or if you're on your own player, it doesn't matter, you can type um, HQM edit. That will give you another book that is like a creative mode book and you can like shift right click on it to complete quests. Don't cheat with it. Come on, guys, I'm not showing you so you can cheat. I'm just showing you so you can get rid of that stupid blinking over and over when you're like, I I just want to be done with it. All it is information, right? Anyway, he should have done it like this one where it just automatically completes, but I don't know. I need to kill some Endermen. Eight more Endermen. Is it nighttime? Ah, oh, it's daytime. Okay, we'll have to wait on that one. That's fine. Um, Are you filling up my guy, hopefully? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's going to... That's going to go for forever. Let's put two more enderpearls in there. <laughs> hey. Oh, okay. It just knocked it up 15 minutes. I didn't know. I was like, where did it go? They just took them. I expect them to sit there for a second. Uh, can we do anything else in the next three or so minutes? Um, we can do an induction smelter or a crucible. Uh, induction smelter... That takes another machine frame, so let's see if we can make another... Do we have four more redstone? I think we do. Let's make another PRX card. And PRC. I don't know why I call them PRX. PRC. Um, now we are out of redstone, so... I need this again. One, two... Just two. No, four of you and two of you. Okay. It's hard to tell on that glass whether it's actually in its slot or now not. All right, there's another machine frame. Invar copper. We'll need another one of these. A bucket. I think I have buckets in here. Okay. Oh, two more Invar. I'm um, gonna put you in there just for a second. Thank you for holding on to my sulfur. Nope, that didn't work. Copper, I'm out of copper too? I am out of copper. All right, gold, go back. Two copper. All right, now my induction smelter. We can get that hooked up. Let's put him here. And I'm actually gonna turn all these inputs and outputs off on these because I don't want them accidentally doing anything that they shouldn't be. That one's fine. It's going to that chest. Okay, and that one, we're going to go ahead and put some sand. Whoa, um, oh, I'm heating them up. Good thing I got these cold water bottles, right? <laughs> yeah, nice cheaty way. Just drink them and then use the bottles later. Okay, so we were going to get some sand, which we got. We're going to get our redstone ore... And we will put it together. What do you get? A redstone block. Nice. <laughs> that is so nice. I'm not sure what redstone ore would produce with a looting pick. I don't think it's nine. I think it's like four or five. So, And we're getting rich slag. So we can use that to triple our ores. What, else, what would it be useful? Oh, wow, you can triple iron or sand. That's just like a high furnace, basically. Oh, I might do it with my cobalt. 
Well, no, I could just put it in the high furnace. Yeah, I don't see a purpose for this, guys. Because all it is done in the high induction furnace. Alright, well. You take a spot in here, my friend. Uh, never mind. I don't know where you went. Okay. Bone meal, go in there. Look at all this redstone. Oh, now we are swimming in redstone, guys. Look at all that. Ah, uh, went from none to multiple stacks. So that is awesome. Redstone ore, by the way, we found in the city in just some random chests. And that's where we got that. Um, I want to go check something out. Someone told me... I need a jetpack. Yeah, I got water. We're good. Someone told me there are some secrets in the city that I was not aware of. Apparently... No? Sometimes in these wooden dusts there are things that you don't know about. Alright, are you going to spawn a pig man? Did I already clean you out? So you thought they were just empty dusts, you know, for show, but there are actual things inside them. Let's go over here. I'm going to watch for pigmen. I don't want pigmen to ruin my day. I don't think there's any in here. Come here, dude, and die. You know what kind of sword I have? Yeah, nothing in that one. So maybe I was being... Ooh, hello, Enderman spawner. Maybe I was being tricked. Or maybe they're just completely random. But I haven't I haven't seen anything in these deaths yet. Oh. Ah! It, it's dark. I'm scared. Nothing in that one. <gasps> I didn't look hard enough. Ah, there is stuff in here. Oh, man. Okay. You guys were right. There's stuff. Not Maybe not all of them. Oh, maybe all of them. <laughs> ah, okay. Cool. Well, definitely check out these... Uh, these buildings underneath the desks. Where are you, creeper? Come here. One shot. Yeah, I was. I thought they were inside the desk. And I was like, I. I don't think there's anything in the desks, but it's right there. <gasps> Woohoo! <laughs> More redstone. More water. Man, this one is. Ooh, I'm liking that. Uh oh, I hear something. Just a zombie. Okay. TNT, um, you can go, I need the string, what do I not need, empty bottles, oh, I need that cold water pack, where are you? Hurry, there's a zombie coming, he was giant, he was giant, oh, he left his head, alright, let's put all this water in here, yes, cool, uh, jerky, cobweb, I don't know why I'm taking cobweb, honestly, <laughs> These are actually pretty cool blocks. I might keep the mar marble. Awesome. Um, oh, I just want to keep exploring and exploring, but I know I'm going to get eaten by a, a thing sooner or later. Let's, let's hang glide a little more, see if we find any more interesting buildings. They're all, I think I've been in each type now. These these tall kind of rounded ones have the, the desk there with the thing underneath and then a bunch of chests. These ones are always have creepers in them. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> I found Lance Riders. Uh, this is where his drones attack. Look at what they've done to the city. Holy crap, they've just decimated. One, two, three, four, five, six buildings. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Oh, nothing good. I'm going to take all the cobwebs. It might come in useful sometime. Uh, what did you put in here? Whoa! <laughs> that must be where they drop the stuff off after they get it. All right. Well, I won't touch that because that would be stealing. <laughs> uh, I was aiming that at a certain someone that doesn't watch my videos anyway, so it doesn't matter. Not Landstrider. Someone else. 
Okay, guys, well, we're going uh, a little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye at this point. Uh, this has been Function X for Crash Landing. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. And uh, if you want to see more, subscribe button is free. It's right there. Go ahead and push it, and you'll be notified whenever I give a, put out a video. Again, I'm trying to put out one every day next week uh, to make up for the horrible week we had this week. And uh, we will see you guys next time with more Crash Landing. Don't forget to check out all the other guys' channels. The links are in the description. Let me know if you know what happened to my trees and my wool and all my stuff that is missing. I think I have a clue, but I'll let you guys, you guys can tell me. And I will see you guys next time. Fun show next. Bye.